Hey guys, thanks for watching my rig demonstration video. I'm sure you're wondering about all of the hardware and software that I'm using, so let me give you a quick rundown. So the most prominent part of that video, and the thing that I get the most questions about, is of course the Wii Remote. So I'm running my Wii Remote through a program called Oscillator that takes all of the button pushes and the accelerometer data and turns that into MIDI so that my computer can understand it. Generally, this motion is for tremolo and this motion is for harmonizer, and this motion is for vibrato. So that's how I like to use that. Also, conveniently, all of the buttons are in easy reach of my fingers, and uh, so that makes it easy to activate effects in almost no time at all. The other most obvious part of my rig that didn't get featured so much in that video 
was the LPD-8 that I have on this side. This was actually the first thing that I ever attached to my Iwi, uh, long before the Wii Remote. I like to use these knobs for a variety of different things. These four are to affect different aspects of my arpeggiator, and this one is for delay, this one is how much reverb I'm going to have, this one is for my MIDI repeater, and this one is for a virtual amplifier so that I can dial in the tone exactly how I like. I don't use the pads for a whole lot right now, although this one's for tap tempo, which is super convenient um, if you want to time any of your effects with a live band. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll find uses for the other ones. The other piece of gear that got a lot of attention in that video was my pedal. My pedal is just a really standard M Audio expression pedal, but I have that attached to a device called MIDI Expression that of course turns the pedal position into MIDI data so that my computer can read it. I like to use the pedal to affect the portamento time. The reason I put that in my pedal is because I find that's where I get the uh, most fine control. I used to use my pedal for vibrato, and I used to use this motion for the portamento control, but I found that I didn't get a lot of really fine control with this, and also that if I wanted to play some music that had a lot of portamento in it, I would have to hold up my instrument like this for a long period of time, which is tiring and uh, not super practical. So I switched them around, and that's kind of the beauty of this setup. You can assign your MIDI controllers to do whatever you need, and they're all within easy reach. I can get at all of these buttons and all of these dials and all of these pads without even opening my eyes. I'm going to talk really quickly about the software that I like to use. In that video, of course, I was using Ableton Live, but for many, many years I used MainStage to do the exact same thing. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. MainStage is much easier to set up, but it's not so good for recording. Ableton is more difficult to set up, but, you know, it's way better for recording. Now a question that I get from a lot of Iwi players is, hey that's a cool setup, but is it worth all of the effort? And uh, my answer is yes. When you're playing the Iwi, what you're really doing is you're playing a synthesizer. Most synthesizers have a million dials and a million buttons that all affect the sound in various ways. And MIDI controllers that are meant to work with synthesizers do the same thing. The Iwi should be the same way. I have this set up in such a way that everything feels like it's part of the instrument. All of the movements and all of the buttons makes this instrument to me feel more whole and, and more complete. I really like to dial in any sound that I can imagine without having to go into my laptop and figure it out. I can do it all by changing patches, by dialing different effects, and that gives me a lot of freedom when it comes to performing with this instrument. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I have many more videos planned, including some tutorials that will help you set this up for yourself, so please subscribe if you're interested, and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video.